When we think of the Industrial Revolution, we normally think of smokestacks, factories, changing urban environments. Because it is without a doubt a fact that the Industrial Revolution represented a enormously significant step in modern Europe and the Western world in the late 1700s and the 19th century towards the industrialized modernity that we know today, meaning all the mass manufactured goods we enjoy, the technological pleasantries with which define our lives in the 21st century. These were made possible by the industrial innovations that came in the Industrial Revolution. And yet, as we speak about these enormous developments, as we speak about entrepreneurs like Richard Arkwright in the 1700s, a man who made enormous sums of, sums of money, a man who helped drive forward the Industrial Revolution, we need to keep in mind the eyes of this little girl, a young girl working in a spinning mill in 19th century England, a young girl who likely never had the chance to pursue the achievements that Richard Arkwright, Arkwright relished in his enormous wealth. This little girl illuminates the contradictions of our industrialized progress, that this transformation that came to the Western world in the 19th century that is responsible for enormous prosperity that eventually resulted uh, in the decades and century that followed came at an enormous price. It came with a wide array of disturbing social implications. The mass use of child labor, that the Industrial Revolution was not a simple phenomenon. So as you do this week's readings, as you listen to the lecture when I elaborate on some of the themes I've just briefly mentioned, keep in mind this little girl's face. Keep in mind the price of the industrialized modernity that we enjoy today and weigh the contradictions. Keep in mind that it's this little girl's eyes that drove individuals like Karl Marx and Frederick Engels to write the Communist Manifesto. Contradictions, conflicts, no black and white, only gray. As I mentioned in the introduction to the class, this is one of the key themes I want you to understand that something like the Industrial Revolution, something that is a cornerstone of Western prosperity, is not so simple as speaking in terms of prosperity.